Hello friends, how are you all? Welcome to today's video. In this video, we will see how Certificate Exporter works uh, in Kubernetes and uh, we can, how we can use it with Prometheus. So let's start today's video. Uh, for this today's video, we should have some uh, knowledge or understanding how Prometheus work and uh, how Prometheus Grafana this particular stack work. So uh, here are some of my videos related to Prometheus. Here we uh, have make deployment of Prometheus and uh, we have used the Elasticsearch there. And, and we have also made demo of how Prometheus Blackboard export we have uh, done. So uh, how to implement things how to create your uh, environment ready with Prometheus and its exporter? You can see here. We are just focusing here in this today video how this certificate exporter is helpful to maintain our environment and uh, DevOps lifecycle easy. So we first go with the why we need to learn about this tool or this particular exporter. We have a number of exporter work which works with the Prometheus and why we should learn this particular X509 certified exporter. So to answer you why, uh, in, uh, in your working uh, environment, you must have some HTPV, HTPS uh, resources uh, your front end, whichever is dealing with the clients. So when the request is come, uh, you want, all the requests should travel through SSL. So uh, users request should be get encrypted to your uh, go uh, comes encrypted and go to the your backend resources. To in maintain the security level, you use the SSL certificate in in your uh, environment in with your front end services so question is that uh, there are these ssl cert comes with the defined lifetime six month or one year whatever uh, the and after whenever they get expired when this date get expired you found that your certificates are not working so what you can use uh, we need something some utility like that which tell us that uh, before sometime before one week that your certificates are going to expire uh, do something to reissue them there we can use the things uh, certificate exporter uh, to get the notification to monitor the HTTPS certificate so what is it it is a uh, Prometheus exporter same like black box exporter black box exporter is used to monitor the HTTP, HTTP or whatever the web resources you have and uh, for the, all those web resources and other which have the SSL we need this or uh, we use this certificate exporter in our today case we are going to use this particular x590 cert exporter and uh, how it's work it's work same like other uh, Prometheus exporter what uh, there is a port will be generated and uh, which uh, have the name of cert exporter and it scrap the matrices i will tell you whatever the matrices it scrap it scrap the matrices and after some time uh, whatever the scrap interval of prometheus have prometheus continuously scrap the uh, cert uh, matrices of the cert exporter as you know prometheus works on pull mechanism and uh, from that from and uh, Prometheus is added as the data source in the Grafana and we can uh, we can prompt promql is the query language and we can run a query to show database and through that database we get some in useful information like that you have here uh, like we have total certificate 29 expired uh, it is like it is going to expire in seven days or whatever uh, these we have so uh, now we can go to 
X509 exporter and we will see last point how we can utilize how we can use it so uh, in current project I am using it on AKS via Helm deployment I am we are making its Helm deployment of this Helm deployment is very easy uh, you just have to run this two command not much you have to run Helm repo add and then Helm install it will make a release of this name and you can use choose your customized name but uh, you have to make sure you are using this exporter and if you have specific requirement of the version you can change the version of chart it's not your uh, application version it's chart version now uh, there is a brief intro information about the certificate exporter here in this page a promise exporter for certificate focusing on expiration monitoring return and go and cloud deployment in mind so whenever your tls certificates are going to expire pem encoded encoded files to config with the embedded certificate it will send you notification it will tell you there are it is going to expire within particular timing and these are the matrices certs not before after before and there are uh, I think one two three four five six seven eight nine there are some nine eight or nine matrices are there and it's uh, there is a, you don't have to run your own propcal query and make your own graph we have already a graph uh, by ID of three nine double two which tell you the whatever the total certificate you have how uh, they are going to expire in zero days seven days twenty eight days so you can do your preparation purchase whatever or renew from the author authority because you it will also take some time so you have proper time and uh, whatever the certificate you have whenever they are going to expire there are you can see that the six week time is spending and on some we have 14 weeks of time and it giving us the uh, some uh, commands how we can use that how we can uh, use our own values uh, in some cases where you are not using the like if you are working on Kubernetes and uh, you have done the Prometheus uh, management like me not through the Prometheus operator you have done the through the simple Kubernetes deployment or you have used some other chart your own created chart in that particular cases you have to uh, make these things uh, you have to make this port annotation uh, need to work it is uh, disabled in the chart uh, the value demo I will show you that and uh, you have to make these changes on uh, on on your value demo file if you are not using the particular certificate uh, we can say if you are not uh, using the promises of Twitter and uh, some error you might get like this one unable to build unable to match uh, this note person not found so uh, this or if you are getting this error you can resolve it by using this value ML file okay uh, let's jump into the validity ML file default values uh, if you want to or add the name uh, you can do that these are the general terms and uh, general uh, all the parameters which are available in all the charts and if you want to override the image you can tell set your own image and if you have image in your own registry please uh, override this and write your own chart here on repo here and uh, grafana create dashboard is false should the grafana dashboard be deployed as a config require grafana sidecar so uh, you can deploy uh, upload your own and then you have annotation no secret exporter is there uh, the limits and uh, requests are mentioned here and the, uh, they, it, in this particular limit it will work fine if you have very large system and uh, you want to increase or decrease more its limits you can change here and uh, if you want uh, 
some kind of toleration you need want to pass and uh, um, it may be maybe the case you have uh, ports with uh, this particular toleration there and uh, no port is having uh, working without taint so you can pass the taint and affinity here uh, then security contents you can change as per your requirement and if you search here annotations yeah like then there's a port annotation you have to uh uncomment this and to resolve that particular error so and after that you run these only two commands with hyphen a flag so uh, and after that uh, you add that particular dashboard in your grafana and you will start uh, you can monitor you can start monitoring your uh, dash grafana and dash and uh, all the assets that you get hope you like this today video i'm not going in the implementation of this stuff as uh, they don't require to be uh, this is just a two command step and uh, if you want to configure and uh, Prometheus or Fana via Helm chart, it's this uh, deployment is not done through the Helm chart. If you want, you can comment and hope you like the today video. We will, I will see you in the next video. Bye.